you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel so as you guys can see by the title we are doing a really detailed makeup look i'm gonna show you guys my makeup routine but before we get into the routine i just want to state the obvious that yes i am sitting on the floor you guys did not notice i have not uploaded in a little hot minute i think it's been like two or three weeks I mean, hell, by the time you see this video, it's probably gonna be three weeks since I uploaded. But the story is, if you haven't watched my last video, definitely go check that one out, the one I did two or three weeks ago, of the get ready with me for date night. And I said in that video that I wanted to buy a vanity because I was so tired of just hovering over my sink, trying to do my makeup and just making my whole bathroom sink just a hot mess. And I just wanted to be bougie and be like, you know, sit down and be like the TikTok girlies who be like, get ready with me to go to the mall. I attempted to buy a vanity off of Amazon and it delivered to me broke the mirror was completely shattered so that kind of pushed things back you know what I'm saying so I had to contact Amazon they had to contact the seller I'm waiting on my refund it was just a hot mess and then life just got in the way and then I just looked up and it's been two three weeks okay I've bought a uh, vanity mirror this is what I'm looking at right now it is so cute let me show you guys I got this from bed bath and beyond <gasps> isn't it adorable it's like a little speaker it plays music it like dims the light it makes it bright i mean this shit gets bright bright baby that's bright i am currently also the mirror is sitting on top of my living room coffee table <laughs> that i literally put in my closet i just need to order a table i think i'm gonna go next week to ikea and just like get a table just put them in i just bought this mirror that's what i should have done in the first place instead of trying to buy like a, a whole full vanity this is just so much simpler and just easier i paid like 244 at bed bath and beyond for this mirror i got like 20 percent off because i think i signed up for the membership or some you always sign up if they're gonna give you a discount <laughs> just don't sign up for the credit cards Let's get started on this makeup because I'm going out with my friends tonight. It's like 80 degrees in Chicago today. So I am going out so wide just for a little drink. That's it. So I, like I said, I just want to show you guys how to do my detailed makeup routine. So let's get started so I can show you how to beat your face like a hoe. I mean a pro. I, I didn't mean that. <laughs> All right, so first we're gonna go in with moisturizer. This is the Drunken Elephant Dew Drops. This actually was not worth how much I paid for this. Shit. I think this shit is like $70. What is wrong with Drunk Elephant? I got this because all the TikTok girls was raving about it, but it's really not worth $70. I mean, L'Oreal Paris has a really good glow drop. It's called Lumi Glow Lotion. It's like $12 at Target. Just go get that. But I love this lotion. Not lotion. Moisturizer. Lotion, moisturizer, anything. This moisturizer by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Magic Cream Moisturizer. And I like to just mix my dew drops in the moisturizer just like one drop and i just like mix it together on the back of my palm and then just put it on my face and it really does give me like a sun kiss glow that i like especially because it's so sunny outside and i love when the sun just like reflects my face and it just gives me such a pretty glow and i just feel hot you know what i'm saying all right now for primer since it's 80 degrees outside um i cannot uh use my usual regular primer which is the i cannot pronounce this the raffi uh primer that's like a glow primer i cannot use that today i already just used something glowy and i have really oily skin so i when i know it's a hot day and it's gonna be hot i like to use a really matte primer and i like to really put that all into my t-zone because that is where i get the oiliest and then just like pat everything else that i have access on my hand what I'm using is the Milk Makeup Primer. This is their Make... Ugh, can I speak? This is their Milk Makeup Mattifying Primer that I like. I really like this. And then I also have been using this too. I just got this from Lilia? Lillian? I'm sorry. I just got this for PR from this brand. And this is their under eye primer to really brighten under the eye i have been using this for like two or three days and i really like this stuff it all it does is just brightens under the eye and it also brightens the concealer that you put under the eye so i just mix this under my eye just to give me some brightness all right so now that i'm done moisturizing my face and putting on primer now i'm going in with my giorgio armani illuminous silk foundation i love this foundation and i feel like a little goes a long way with this stuff so all you need like for real is like two pumps that's it that's as much as i use on my face i do not like to put a lot of foundation on my face i really don't i already don't like using like heavy foundation on my face because my face is so oily 
So all I do is like one or two pumps and I just spread it all over because this stuff really does blend out really well. And I also like to go in with a foundation brush. This is the Say Beauty foundation brush that I really like. And I start oh, down by my chin and I just work my way up and just blend everything really seamlessly into the skin. Doing this as well also prevents your makeup from looking cakey. So the less pumps you use in your foundation, the more natural and less cakey it's gonna look. <sighs> my ass hurts already by sitting on this side. I have like a my blanket under my butt so my butt won't hurt, but it still hurts. Okay. All right, next is contour. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. If you watched my last video, my get ready me for day night video, I already said how I felt about this in that video, but I'm gonna just tell y'all again, just in case you don't watch it. Don't buy this, okay? This is such a messy product. It blends in beautifully, but it's a messy product and that's what I really hate about it. But I love how it blends, so I can't help but use it. So now I'm just going to contour my face. I like to contour my face before my concealer because I feel like it's co very common for me to give myself like a dirty contour. And what I mean by a dirty contour is like when your contour is like, all over the place to prevent my makeup from looking just all of my contour just from looking all over the place and just like a dirty just like messy look i feel like if you do your contour first then you add on your concealer you can like save it so now i'm just gonna blend this in to my and see how beautifully this just blends into the skin it blends beautifully but the the packaging in the spillage is just horrible you waste so much product because of how bad the packaging is. Like, that's the only thing I don't like about it. Like, come on, Miss Tilbury. All right, so now that my face is blended to the gods, now it's time to go in with concealer. I like to use the Rare Beauty Concealer, and I just put this in the areas that I like to be highlighted. I feel like TikTok has taught me not to use a lot of concealer. I really like that the new trend for concealer now is not how it used to be back in the day. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember when YouTube was in its era, how much concealer we used to put on back in the day. Like that was ridiculous. I mean, a whole triangle on your face. Okay, now it's time to blend. So this is like how I like to blend out my concealer. I always like to blend the concealer under my contour first. So I blend this out first, blend all of this out because I don't want to leave like any harsh lines. Then I like to go up like follow where I was blending, go up and start to blend under my eye and then just blend all of this concealer out. Don't ever swipe to do your concealer. You always want to keep the concealer already in place and you just really want to just pounce very lightly in the area to keep the concealer in place. Try not to move it around so much. And I like to bring it all the way up to give me a smash look. Okay, so now that I've blended out all my concealer, now it's time for setting powder. I like the Huda Beauty setting powder. I think in the last video I did, I had the Givenchy one. I still have the Givenchy one, but I just bought this one not too recently. I can't remember if I used this one in the last video, but I just bought this because I saw all the TikTok girls raving. <laughs> about this setting powder and it actually does live up to the hype it is really good so i'm just patting that into the skin with a press powder instead of a beauty blender and ever since i switched over to a press powder and stopped using a beauty blender to really like set my setting powder i've noticed how much my setting powder really does help me have a more chiseled face like I just feel like I just feel like it really does help your last make your makeup last all day and it has solved my creasing problem too really it's really weird but it has I don't really crease under my eye as much either when I use a uh, pressed powder weird weird right. I know okay so while I let my setting powder bake me like a cake now it's time for brows. I like to use the Fenty Beauty eyebrow pencil. This is my favorite eyebrow pencil by them. Well, this is the only eyebrow pencil they have. I mean, this is my favorite eyebrow pencil. Also like the Urban Decay one too. So that was actually a lie. <laughs> Got it. And I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Eyebrows are looking like uh, first cousins for the first time in a long time. They're usually distant cousins, but today they look like first cousins. Yeah, they look good. I, love it. I always feel like my eyebrows turn out so much better when I get them arched. Oh, 
it just looks so good i think last time the last video i did i uploaded on here my eyebrows were not arched and they was looking a little wild but now I'm looking for my concealer. Um, I like to go in to like outline my eyebrows with a neutral like a concealer that's more close to my shade. And now I'm going to just take this and outline to really outline define my brows. Okay, so for the next part, this is where the soft glam comes into play okay all those girls you see on social media with the soft glam soft glam. This is why they have soft glam. Why? 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 Because they use press powders to contour out their face and to brush away their setting powder. So I like this Sephora Micro Smooth uh, Finishing Powder. This stuff is really nice. This is in the color Mahogany. And I like to take this on a brush. And this is what I use to sweep away my setting powder that is on my face. And it just really just blends my skin and makes my face look so poreless and even more smoother it just evens me out all the way and i just do this all over my face i use this to wipe away any excess setting powder from the huda beauty that i have on my face and i didn't mean to say swipe i mean press you really want to press it into your face you don't want to swipe like i was i'm sorry i i have a, I've, I've been doing that all my life so sometimes i have to catch myself when i find myself just wiping away at my face before i do my contour i'm going to put my lashes on this is the arnell professional texture eyes i got this from tj maxx if you follow me on tiktok which you should be because if you're not what are you doing i got these i did like a tj maxx vlog and i got these from tj maxx and they're like really cute so i'm gonna do my eyelashes off camera because this is gonna take me off Day, so just give me a second okay so i put my lashes on do they look pretty that's pretty good okay it's time to contour my face now i'm going to take my other favorite finishing press powder this is from kosas this is their softly cloud set press powder and like i said i really like to work with press powders on my face because i just feel like it just makes my makeup so much softer if you're aiming to have really soft makeup you want a really soft look Working with pressed powders is always a good thing to do. Just makes your makeup just come out and just look so much better. I'm also gonna use this on my eyelids too, just to make everything blend seamlessly on the face. I love using my um, contour powders as eyeshadows. It just makes the face look all together. And then you cannot forget to chisel that nose, okay? Chisel that nose like you just came from Turkey and you just got your nose done, okay? Cause I heard they get the best nose jobs over there in Turkey. Now, the last step is setting your face with setting mist. This is my favorite setting mist at the moment. This is the 1802 milkshake that I got. I just realized that this is called milkshake. I got this from Ulta. I really like this setting powder. It's a toner. It's also a skincare toner too, and you can use it for makeup. So I just like drench my face in this. Whoa! <coughs> That's my mouth. Then while that is all wet on my face, I take some setting powder. This is a setting powder from the other brand. I can't pronounce the Lily Lillian setting powder. And I'm going to take some on my powder puff, make sure I dose it on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to go in and just press that setting powder all into my face, everywhere on my face. And this really does hide all your pores. This is also where the magic happens too, where it just makes your face come together and look so seamless. Magic. I actually lied. That was um, not the last step. I forgot to put on mascara. This is the Say Beauty mascara that I am currently in love with to really make my lashes long. Like I want my real lashes to look like spider webs. Okay, this is for the last part. I like to take this Tao 28 um, Super Dewy Glow. I like to put this right under my brows and it just gives me just such a pretty subtle glow right under that brow. And I kind of like drag it down a little bit. You see oh it, you see God. it. Maybe you can't see it, I might add a little more. I also like to take it down the bridge of my nose to give me a glow down my nose. And then I like to take it also up above my cupid's bow for glow. All right, so this is the finished look. 
I did put on some lip gloss because I completely forgot I was filming. Um, but I don't do much to my lips like when I'm done with my face. I just put some simple lip gloss on. This is the Lip Butter by Summer Fridays. I really like this lip gloss. And yes, this is the full beat. This is my everyday makeup routine. I feel like I finally found a routine that I really, really love and that really does give me what I, my goal, which is soft glam. Like my face is soft, like come feel it. You feel that? Yeah, it's soft, ain't it? It's like velvet. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, I am so sorry for leaving for two or three weeks, girl. I will not do that again. I got some exciting videos coming up because I have a trip next month and I'm preparing like all this month for it. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Definitely leave me a comment below. All the products I use will be in the description bar. Leave me a comment below. Don't forget to like. Damn, how many times I'm gonna tell y'all to comment? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Nicole Faye Davis and follow me on TikTok at Nicole Faye underscore underscore and I will see you guys next time. Bye.